Stop it right there. I know some of you saw the title of the video and were gonna comment, Sophia, how have you never seen Ro the Rocky Picture Horror Show? You think I don't know? You think people haven't given me shit for this, for never have watching it? I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I myself don't even know why I've never watched the movie. It just, it just never, it just never happened. What matters is, is that I am watching it for the first time with you guys and you will live vicariously through me. Now isn't that fun? <laughs> That being said, I do know some of the songs. I don't know every song, but I do know some of the songs. And <laughs> again, don't say anything. Half of it was because of that one Glee episode. I know, I know. The other half would be because like I heard the song somewhere else. I don't know, just like growing up. And I know the very talented Tim Curry is in this movie, along with Susan Sarandon. I know she's in this too. Anyways, I'm really excited to watch it. I've heard so much about this movie, seen so many references towards it, and it has such an influence on the LGBTQ community. I already know that this movie is going to be fun, so I can't wait to see where it all started. Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon, literally like the only two actors I know, or that I recognize by name. A groupie. <laughs> Meatloaf. Oh my god, someone's name is Meatloaf. Like a I love the freeze frame of the lips and now their teeth. Are we about to go inside her mouth? <laughs> When weddings used to be small, and now weddings are just like a huge party. <laughs> they look like that one American painting. You and Betty have been almost inseparable since you met in Dr. Scott's refresher course. Oh my god, I thought the woman getting married was Susan Sarandon. So I, I like really did not recognize her. I was like, wow, she looks really different. But <laughs> no, that's not her. <laughs> looks like it could be your turn next, eh? Sorry now, Betty. <laughs> what was he thinking about? An hour ago, she was plain old Betty Monroe, and now she's Mrs. Ralph Hapshat. <gasps> yes, Janet, Ralph's a lucky guy. Yes. <laughs> she was like, now she's Mr. Blah Blah Blah. The river was deep, but I swam it. Janet. The future is ours, so let's plan it. Janet. Damn it, Janet. I love it. Sir, you just graffitied the church. <laughs> Oh shit, he had that on him. Okay, I thought he was gonna have like second thoughts about marrying her or something. Are they gonna get married right now? They're just invading on this funeral service. <laughs> wow, nice transition. I would like to take you on a strange journey. Oh my god, is he talking to us? The audience? It seemed a fairly ordinary night when Brad Majors and his fiancée to visit a Dr. Everett Scott. The spare tire they were carrying was badly in need of some air. Oh. Oh, that sucks. It was a night out they were going to remember for a very long time. <laughs> oh wow, I love these transitions. So the entirety of this movie is based off of a single night? Okay. <laughs> Take their lives in their hands. What with the weather? Life's pretty cheap for that type. A little judgmental there, sir. <laughs> what was the bang? It must have a blowout. Didn't we pass a castle back down the road a few miles? A castle? Are those white heels too? Oh, a shame. I like how she thinks that newspaper will keep her dry when it is <laughs> absorbing water. They're just in no rush trying to get out of the rain. Oh, I was like, what are they zooming into? That is just the dark sky. It seemed that fortune had smiled on Brad So he Jenny. is talking to us. He's a narrator that we can see. Hello. <laughs> there have been so many zoom-ins. It's... <laughs> I can't believe that's what I find comedy. You're away. Yes. It's raining. <laughs> 
I know like for sound effects in movies for like thunder they have like that metal thing but for some reason that thunder just now sounded like extra like metal what kind of a place is this uh, it's probably some kind of hunting lodge for rich weirdos. Like the most dangerous game? Man has scoliosis. Oh my god, they actually have the painting that I was referring to at the beginning. Okay, I love the change in music type because I can hear a guitar now. Oh my god, she fainted because of this? She must be the most vanilla woman ever. Oh my gosh, again. It was because of that woman's moaning. She was like, oh my god, that's too much for me. Okay. All right, go off. Tap dancing is so impressive. How do you do that? The narrator is even doing it himself. Well, I want to go. Well, we can't go anywhere till I get to a phone. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. They made wow. But he was so judgmental about the motorcyclists before. I'm here. There's nothing to worry her, about. Her jaw. <laughs> okay. This is like the most vanilla couple to have ever stepped into this place. Could we use your phone? We don't want to be any worried. Where are you gone? He splashed me. Oh my gosh, Tim Curry is killing it. It's the confidence. He is wearing it, performing it with such confidence. It looks so good on him. I see you shiver with anticipation. It has blood on it. Oh, oh, oh. It's all right, Janet. We'll play along for now and pull out the aces when the time's right. Oh, oh. Brad Majors? This is my fiance. That was such a... That was such a hard, like, hand grab. Oh, Oh, wow. <laughs> She's charmed. Such a perfect specimen of manhood. So dominant. <laughs> oh, he looked down. Do you have any tattoos, Brad? Certainly not. How about you? <laughs> Everything is in readiness. <laughs> After that performance, she was like, damn, maybe I don't want to be married anymore. <laughs> or engaged. I hold the secret to life itself. <laughs> They have, like, that device, so they don't have to clap. In the Frankenstein story, is it canon that the henchmen that assists Dr. Frankenstein, they're always hunched over or has a hump? I feel like every adaptation of Frankenstein I've seen, they've always been humped over. I don't know if it's like that in the book, too. Wow. Okay. Oh, we can see the inside now with the bones. That was cool. Aren't Brad and Janet just so lucky to have come this night? Oh my gosh, he is falling all over this man. <laughs> oh my god, Rocky just does not want it. Yes. He's okay. <laughs> what do you think of him? I don't like men with too many muscles. Oh my god, me too, girl. The sweat from his pores as he works. Oh, those are we'll dumbbells. He'll eat nutritious, high protein. What, he'll eat keto? No carbs. I can make you a man. Yeah. Rocky is like in permanent flex mode. <laughs> What the hell just happened? Oh my god, we're going straight into another song. Oh, love me a good sax. Brad and Jenna are just watching all of this and they're like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Frankenfurter is like, this is my show. I'm supposed to be the one entertaining everyone. What did he grab? What is he gonna do? Oh! He's like back in the freezer you go. Oh! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna stick him in there. 
Is he gonna take parts of that man and put it into Rocky? Wait, literally, <laughs> Brad and Janet just witnessed a murder. Shouldn't they be freaking the fuck out right now? It was a mercy killing. <laughs> he had a certain naive charm, but no muscle. Oh! What was that? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh, he wants to marry him? I thought he was just gonna use Rocky as like a sex... Slave? Toy? Ooh, a color change. Let me guess, is it red for desire? Janet. Oh, it said Brad's voice, but is that even Brad? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, they're gonna commit premarital sex. You tricked me! I wouldn't have! I've never, never! Oh, oh so, stop! So. I mean, help! <laughs> she, <laughs> she said, I mean, help! Do you want him to see you like this? Oh, oh, I, oh my goodness. I promise you won't tell Brad? Oh my god, are they actually gonna- Oh my god! Damn. Poor Brad. Now Brad and Frankenfurter have to have a night together too. Just to make it even. Oh my god, how do you sleep like that? Oh. <laughs> what was the point of that? Is he just fucking around with him? Because Frankenstein is, like, afraid of fire. Oh my god, he's escaping! Oh my god, I was gonna say, I was like, are they gonna have sex too? Oh my god! Oh, I, I thought Rocky and Brad were gonna do it. <gasps> it's a Frankenfurter! <laughs> you tricked me, I wouldn't have. I've never, never, never! <laughs> They're saying the exact same lines. Oh my god, Brad, really? Mm, okay. Do you want her to see you like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you promise you won't tell. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually think. Damn. Frankenfurter is putting in some work that night. Rocky has broken his chains and vanished. Come in. He wishes. Oh. Dad, my darling. Oh, how could I have done this to you? Is she gonna sing that song? The touch, 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 touch me. I mean. At least it wasn't during the activity. Is it Rocky? <laughs> the original himbo. Here, I'll dress your wounds, baby. There. Girl, you didn't want to like wash his wounds first. He's like covered in dirt. <laughs> Emotion. She's like, I already cheated once. Might as well just do it the same night. There seemed little doubt. That Janet was indeed its slave. Wait, whose slave? Rocky's? It only leads to trouble and seat wedding. <laughs> seat wedding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Frankenfurter sexually liberated her. I mean, good for her. Good for Brad, too. I guess. <laughs> of the night? Creature of the night. Oh my god, are they gonna catch them? I was only away for a minute. Yeah, busy nutting for a minute. Master, we have a visitor. Dr. Everett Scott, he happens to be an old friend of mine. I see. <laughs> Frankenfurter was like, damn, another friend? Oh my gosh, time to make a move. He's attached to the Bureau of Investigation of that which you call you at Oh, isn't that right? What, are they aliens? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> Not the skid sounds. I came here to find Eddie. What do you know of Eddie, Dr. Scott? You see, Eddie happens to be my nephew. Wait, who's Eddie? Oh, isn't Eddie the guy that got killed? Janet! Dr. Scott! Janet! Ah, Rocky! Janet! <laughs> Master, dinner is prepared! She didn't want to... She didn't want to put the robe on either. Damn. This night has changed Janet forever. Perhaps she'll leave Brad. Who knows? <laughs> oh, he gets a mason jar and not a wine glass. A test. To 
your absent friend. Oh, why did everyone have wine glasses then? Came here to discuss Eddie. Eddie? That's a rather tender subject. Another slice, anyone? Oh my god, are they eating Eddie? I knew he was in with a bad crowd, but it was one of Oh my god, why is he talking to me? All he wanted was rock and roll porn. When Eddie said he didn't like his Terry, you know he was so no good to do. What kind of logic? Some kids just don't like stuffed animals. Oh! Oh! <laughs> she went straight to Rocky. Oh! This sonic transducer. It is, I suppose, some kind of audio vibratory physio molecular transport device. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't know what this movie was about going in, but I certainly didn't think aliens were a part of this. You're a hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. Oh! Oh my god, he turned into a statue! I can't stand any more of this. First you spurn me already, and then you throw him off like an old overcoat for Rocky! I loved you! Just take, 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 and drain others of their love and emotion! Damn, you, you know, tell I'm him. Gonna... Oh, do they ever get turned back? <laughs> what is he doing? <gasps> oh, not Rocky. So is he gonna have to make a new person? When shall we return to Transylvania, huh? Transylvania? What? I'm indeed grateful to both you and your brother, Riff Raff. But their brothers, their brother and sister? We are ready for the floor show. Stop looking at me. You said that they would remember this for a long time. But they're statues. Does that mean they're cognizant while being a statue? That'd be actually horrifying. It was great. Oh, oh, okay. So they can turn... Back to human. Oh. oh my god, those are boobs. Oh my god, I have to censor this. I didn't actually expect boobs. <laughs> D Medusa. Damn, flexible as hell. Yeah, good for you, Janet. Good for you too, Brad. But can you leave? Or are you stuck there? Oh, I see Brad is still shy, covering himself up. Give over. Wait, is this their spaceship? The oh, never mind. <laughs> They're stairs. Oh! Oh! That was cool. <laughs> the painting. Wow, thanks for the advice. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be an orgy? I've gotta be strong and try to hang on. He's like, I can't, I can't be dragged into this orgy. <gasps> Actually, so can he like walk them? He doesn't have scoliosis anymore. Oh my god, they're the painting! Who are these people? I'm going home. Ooh, that was a nice shot with the light in the background. Wait, are these people actually there? Oh, okay. It's his imagination. When I said we were to return to Transylvania, I referred only to Magenta and myself. <laughs> the lip twitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, he thinks he can escape that way. <laughs> the effects. Just beamed off him. Uh, so it's gonna end like Frankenstein, where he and the doctor fall to their death. Well, Frankenstein's death, since the doctor's already dead. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think Rocky was gonna die like that. No, the Brad and Janet have to live so that they can remember this night for a very long time, like the narrator said. We are about to beam the entire house back to the planet of transsexual in the galaxy of Transylvania. What? <laughs> Sing and dance once more to your dark face to take that death to the right. Brother. 
Perfect. Oh. Oh my gosh, I didn't think the whole house would just like cut up. Damn, they even took their original clothes. Now they have to go back to like civilization with that on. That was fun! Um, like I said before, I didn't know a lot of things, but I truly did not think that aliens were a part of this movie. And the galaxy name is Transylvania. That's, that's so funny. That was fun. That was so camp. The songs were fun. The whole like sexual liberation message of the movie was fun too. I totally understand why it's a cult classic. The whole time I was watching it, I was like, I have no idea where this is going with each scene. Something happens and then in my head, I'll be like, okay, logically this will occur. But then something else happens and I'm like, well, what the fuck, what is happening? I kind of like that. It's definitely something like I haven't seen before, which I think was the point of this movie. You know, I gotta say, Tim Curry, iconic. I think everyone did their roles well, but obviously Tim Curry stole the show. Every scene he was in, my attention was on him. Now that I've seen the movie, I really want to go to a live production of one now. Also, sorry to relate it back to Glee. In the episode, they were saying how the Rocky Picture Horror Show was like not an appropriate musical for a bunch of high schoolers to play. And like, I kind of understood it because I like had some knowledge about the show and about the themes but after watching this i'm i'm just like oh wow mr schuster was kind of crazy for that definitely not something to put in a high school production i'm so happy that i've finally watched this this was so good a classic if i may say so if you enjoyed this video please give me a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you want and i'll see you for the next video